Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabriela Quinones and thank you for joining us. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it. So today I am going to be showing you how I get ready in the morning. Today is my last day of school, or well was, because I'm, that was in the past and now I'm in the future, whatever. So yeah, it's my last day of school. So I figured why not do a get ready with me? I haven't done that ever. So here it is. So I put on like um, anti-wrinkle cream for my moisturizer and right now I am putting primer on. Um, in between each step I always drink a cup of coffee um, or a sip of my cup of coffee because like a girl ain't got time to get full B and drink coffee. So <laughs> you gotta multitask, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so these past four years of high school have been very interesting. I have grown and I've changed a lot and I guess I'll just tell you about that. Um, so I joined Key Club my freshman year. Key Club is a student-led service organization. We help the community and just do a bunch of great stuff for the world and so I joined that my freshman year. Um, I actually joined because my friends joined and I was like, you know, gotta do what my friends do. I can't be different. I can't be doing my own thing. You know, I can't have people be judging me for doing something if no one else is doing it. So I joined with my friends. Um, but, um, you know, I went through the year and they made it really, really difficult for me to attend the service projects, almost as if they just didn't want me to partake in any of the activities that they were doing it was like they wanted me in their group but they didn't really want me in their friend group so it was just freshman year was a very difficult year um and so sophomore year we rejoined and at the end of sophomore year um my friends decided that they wanted to run for an office position so we each ran for a different office position someone ran for president vice president secretary and I ran for treasurer so I ran for office because of my friends and um I got the position. I became treasurer my junior year and the rest of my friends didn't. They didn't get the position that they wanted. So they just quit Key Club altogether. And at this point I had to make a decision. I had to choose if I wanted to be a follower and leave Key Club with them or if I wanted to be a leader and lead my club. So I chose to be a leader. Then I realized that I was always a leader that was just afraid to lead. I've always made my own choices and I've always done what I wanted to do. I guess it just took other people telling me to do it to realize that it's something that I wanted to do. And um, I'm not saying that being a follower is bad because if I wasn't a follower, then I would never have joined Key Club and I would never have realized that I wanted to be a leader. And good leaders need good followers. So it's very important, you know, for there to be followers in the world. Um, so then, the end of my junior year, I lost all of my friends because they all quit Key Club. And I wasn't really in anything else, um, except for International Club. And at the end of junior year, I ran for president in International Club as well as Key Club. So... Um, at the end of my junior year, I was president of two clubs. So my senior year, I was very, very stressed. <laughs> um, being the president of Key Club and International Club um, really took a toll on my sleep schedule. And it really took a toll on my emotional state and my mental state, honestly. I only took two real classes, two core classes um, this year. Um, and I didn't really have to study and stuff. So it wasn't like school was weighing in on me it was just the fact that I had to spend all of my time thinking about key club and international club um but this year in key club I met amazing amazing people um this was probably my most favorite year ever um I met my vice president Robert and he became my best friend and He's going to be moving to LSU, which is in Baton Rouge, which is a couple hours away from where I live. Um, so I don't know if, you know, I'll be able to see him again. Most people that I became friends with this year, I will most likely see them either on campus at the college that I'm going to or, you know, just around town. So it's not 
that big of a deal, you know, that I'm, that they're leaving or that we're not going to see each other because we probably will. It's just that Robert, he really meant a lot to me or he does mean a lot to me. Um, you know, he's seen me at my worst and at my best and I just, he's, he's my best friend and I'm really going to miss him. And if it wasn't for Key Club, I would never have met him or have met anyone as amazing as him. Um, I also met some of my members and they're just so amazing, like Savannah and Miranda and Tyler and Mary Grace and just all these amazing, amazing students who are going to accomplish amazing things in life. And it it's like, it makes me feel good knowing that I was the president of a club where I can see these people grow as students and grow as humans and grow as just people, you know? It's like I, I've i talked to all these people at registration or in August at the beginning of the school year last year or at the beginning of this year, ah, English. <laughs> and I've talked to them and they were so shy and scared. <laughs> Most of them are freshmen and you know, and now going through the years and see going through the year and seeing them open up and get comfortable with each other and just become amazing people and just ah oh God, I'm repeating myself. I don't even know what I want to say, but it's just it's just amazing. And seeing these students volunteer and talk to the elderly and donate food and go to Abraham's tent to serve the homeless and just you know, seeing teenagers, people younger than me and my age, doing amazing things for the ro- for the world, it just it just made going to school bearable. It made all those stupid assignments worth it, and it made you know just dealing with all the hate that I get worth it. It made everything worth it just to see the smile that they gave to those people that they were never gonna see again, and to see the smile that they give each other, and it's just, God, this was the best year of my life, because I got to see that, and I highly encourage everyone to find something that they're passionate about in high school, because high school is a long four years, like it really is, and if you don't have something that you can devote your time to, then you're gonna just hate every second of it, so yeah, it's my journey with Key Club. I was also in um, TV production these past two years, my senior and junior year, and I've had amazing opportunities with that. I was able to be on live television um, doing a teen report multiple times uh, where I got to go live and, um, you know, just present my news story. Um, I did it for a story on a deaf teacher. I did it on... um, a MACNES program, which is, it gives uh, high school students the opportunity to take college campus, uh, take college, ca- college classes on a college campus. Um, and I did it on senioritis, which ironically enough, I got right after I did that teen report. And it, it just, it feels great. Like, um, the other day my teacher was, uh, had a, couldn't be at school. So we got a substitute. And the substitute was um, one of my previous teachers. And when I walked into class, I said, good morning. And he said, Gabby, I saw you on the news. Oh, I remember. Oh, you did such a good job. And I was like, oh, thank you, man. Thank you, boys. I really appreciate it. (laughs) So it was pretty cool how people kind of like, you know, people that actually watch the news, they see me and you know, they're proud of me and they get excited whenever they see me because they, they've seen me grow as a person and it's really cool. Um, and I just, yeah, it makes me really happy. And I've grown a lot as a person this year too, because of Key Club and because of the people that I've met. I, it took me 18 years, well, 17, but it's more dramatic if I say 18. (laughs) It took me, up until this year to find good friends and to find friends who accept me for who I am and people who 
actually like encourage me to be myself they don't want me to be this fake person they don't want me to pretend like I'm not me you know they want me to be that jokingly conceited person and they want me to be that overly energetic person and they want me to be that annoyingly positive person like that's who they know me as and that's who they accept me as and it took what 14 years of school for me to find that and find those people that are those people for me like it's just god it was so worth it it really was I now I'm able to talk in front of people now I'm able to go up to strangers and just talk to them and I'm able to post pictures on my snapchat and instagram and feel confident I'm able to walk around in the outfits that I like and feel confident I'm able to act the way that I want to act and make jokes the way that I want to because I know that these people will accept me for that and they now I'm unapologetically myself and I thank them for that and I thank them for allowing me to be like that you know I just gosh you know it a lot of people say like oh I'm independent I don't need friends you know I'm my own best friend like this and that and like that's true like be your own best friend because at the end of the day you only have yourself and if you don't love yourself then you're going to be sad but you know, it does take good friends to show you that it's okay to love yourself and that it's okay to be your own best friend, you know, and if you feel like you have to hide who you are, if you feel like you have to manipulate how people perceive you because you don't think that they're going to accept you for you, then they're not your friends, they're just your acquaintances and you can find better friends. I've always told myself, because every year, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but every year, I always have to gain a new group of friends, because I just, I, I don't know, I, like, I'm friends with some people, and then the next year, I'm not friends with them, because it was never, like, a true friendship, it was just like, oh, we have a class together, so let's be friends, you know, it was never, like, a true friendship, um, so I've always told myself, when you lose a friend, you'll gain two. And it turned out to be actually kind of true, you know, I, I lost two friends last year and this year I gained four friends, you know, and well, I gained four friends at the beginning of the year and then the more friends that I lost, the more friends I gained because when you lose your negative energy and the negative vibes that are around you when you lose all that negativity all that's left is positivity and all that's left is you being you and they just you know and without them you're able to show your real self and you're able to be comfortable with your real self because you're not having anyone hold you back and so people will see that and people will appreciate you for who you are and they will appreciate you for not apologizing for you, for you, for who you are. English again is great. <laughs> so there's some logic to my madness, I think, but I don't know. I, I think this is all over the place, but I really, I really, really love this past year. I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I wouldn't have changed anything, to be honest. I I feel like everything happens for a reason, whether that's by the grace of God or by coincidence. You know, everything does happen for a reason, in my opinion. And, you know, I... I don't know. I, you just got to make the best out of every situation. I was not able to go, or I am not able to go to the college my first college choice I got accepted and everything but like you know your girl is broke she can't afford that college tuition you know what I'm saying so I have to stay local and I was really upset about it really really upset about it and I'm still kind of butthurt about it but I found an opportunity I went to district convention for a key club and I talked to a circle k member and she was telling me that she started a circle k at my local college 
but it was a very small college. I mean, it was a very small club, and they need people to join. And um, she's leaving, so they need officers. And so she asked me if I wanted to be an officer, and I was like, "Yeah," you know, I was like, I'm "Like, yeah, I want to be an officer, girl. I've been an officer for the past two years. I was in charge this year. Like, yes, I can make this key club. I mean, I mean, Circle K." It's Circle K, not Key Club. That's going to get really annoying. But I can, I can, you know, like make this Circle K something great and something big. And I know that I can do that. And so I wouldn't have had that opportunity if, or I wouldn't have had that, uh, that yeah, I, I wouldn't have, what? English? I don't know. I'm distracted. Look, I'm putting deodorant on. Like, who do I think I am? But like, <laughs> okay. But anyway, um, yeah, I've just. I wasn't able to go to my first college, but that doesn't make that. Blah, 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 blah. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't able to go to my first choice college, but that doesn't mean that I can't make great memories at the local college that I'm going to. And so, what am I doing? Okay, now, okay, now I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot how I edited this. So, <laughs> you watching this for the first time, like me? Ooh, I'm putting some perfume on. Yeah, girl, get it, girl, get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay what else am I doing oh now I'm drinking coffee it takes me so long to drink a cup of coffee in the morning uh, probably because I do my makeup like all throughout like drinking coffee so I'm just like straight chilling you know I actually don't even do this in the morning I just kind of like walk around my house I don't even dance in the morning like I was just feeling it you know like it was my last day at school the last time I had to go and I was just really feeling it you know Whip it, ew, yeah. I don't know what else to say now. Oh, here I am looking for a my key club shirt because I realized because like oh yeah from the hamper you know how I be, um, because it was like the last key club meeting that day, and I wanted to wear my key club shirt and like, you know it was dirty so I had to like you know get out the little the little hamper but like it's all good it's all right. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. My name's on the t-shirt Cause I'm the president And y'all can't even see it Cause it's not in the frame Meow, meow, meow. There I am Gala Quinones, president of Barb Key Club Yeah, yeah Get it girl, get it Yeah, that's you girl, that's you Hey, yeah <laughs> Look how I'm drinking my orange juice Cause I just did my lipstick <laughs> <laughs> I do it every day. Oh my god, I look so stupid. <laughs> yeah, girl, you cute. You cute, girl. Yup. All right, comment down below um, when your last day of school is, or if you already had your last day, when your graduation is. Uh, like and subscribe. Duh. Follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. Uh, I have nothing else to say. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay. Bye. <laughs>